hello YouTube. This is going to be a interesting video. Uh, a lot of people have been having problems with the um, speed of iOS 4, finding that it's either been um, just a bit sluggish or slow to boot, things like that. So I'm doing a quick video for the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch second generation on a few little tweaks you can do to speed it up a bit. As you can see, I'm running the iDemo suite. I've never used this before, so hopefully it should help with the demo demonstration. And here I've got my steps. I'll include this text file at the side so you can um, have a proper look if you want to go over this again. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? So, the first step, removing shadows from wallpaper. This is All of these steps are for jailbroken iPhones. And when you um, jailbreak it, I assume with red snow, most of you will have. But anyway, if you enable wallpapers, then it adds a shadow behind every one of these icons. I've removed mine already, but you can see a little bit behind the text and... That's done, you know, generically, but basically every icon has a shadow put behind it. So what we're going to do is remove it. So you can do this through OpenSSH, or if you've got your iPhone plugged in through a USB, and there's a Windows and Mac version of it. It's called iPhone Explorer, which I prefer. I just like the idea of having it plugged in. Anyway, so we're going to navigate to this address. Okay, so system, library, core services, and then we're going to click on Springboard app. You may have to double click it or something along those lines. It takes a minute to load up since it's actually opening an app bundle. And there we go. Inside the Springboard app, they will be right at the bottom of this. You can scroll to the bottom of whatever program you use. I know um, a lot of you will do this through SSH or whatever, but anyway. Scroll to the bottom and you shall find these four things. Simply delete them. Okay? Then you can unplug your iPhone and reboot. And then you will have no more shadows behind it and it makes a significant increase to the speed of your phone. Okay? Right, well that was step one. Number two, this is an optional one, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Basically, as you can see on my phone, I have 48 mega free RAM there. I'll just see how much I can actually get by doing a free up RAM. Anyway, this um, little trick takes some of the memory from your iPhone's hard drive and turns it into um, RAM for your phone. So if you've got an 8 gig or whatever as I have, it bumps it up to 85 meg of free space um, at best, which is much better than the usual, which is um, about 30 to 40 meg, so it gives you a almost double to play with. As you can see, I'm now on 69, which is a little bit better. It's you know it's not 3GS speed but you know it's it's an improvement. Anyway, here's what we're going to do. If you look here, well, these are the steps we're going to do in a moment. We're going to go to Cydia and add a source. So I've closed it down, and that open up wherever you've got Cydia stored. I have mine in a jailbreak folder, and open up Cydia. The infamous loading screen. As you can see, I've got 71 meg of RAM. Normally, you'll have no more than about 30. So this is quite an improvement. And also, I'm using iDemo, which uses even more of my RAM, you know, through Screen Splitter. So it's actually quite impressive, considering I have more any RAM left over. Okay, so it's now loaded all the data and whatnot on Cydia. Um, it's running, and obviously you need to be connected to Wi-Fi or something. Anyway, what we're going to do. We're going to go to Manage at the bottom. Just take a second, hopefully. Yep. We need to go to Sources. Then Edit. And then Add. Okay. Now we actually have two sources we're going to use. For step two, we're going to do um, this source, and for step three we're going to do this one, so while you're in Cydia, if you want to, you can get both done, you don't have to, you can just do one at a time. Anyway, the source is gumballtech.com forward slash Cydia, then another slash. Now I've already got this added, but that's the address, okay? I will include this at the side, just quickly. A little look, zoom in. Okay, 
that's the address. Okay, now once you've got that installed, go to your sources, as here, scroll down, and yours won't have the icon because I've installed that afterwards, but you need to find one called Gumball Tech. Open it up, now scroll down, and you will find I Memory Enhancer. So, you can have a read if you want to. Um, it's not massively interesting. Anyway, yours will have the option to install there. So simply click it and install. And then, as it says over here, um, reboot your iPhone. And it tells you to do it there. Then, once you've done that, um, through SB settings, um, as I showed you before, doing the little swipe across the top, which I'll show you again at, um, at the end, you can just check your RAM. And mine's currently on 32 meg, but it gets up to 85. So that'll be that one done. So you've done now step one and two. So let's go do step three. Go back to um, manage, then edit and add again. Okay, now this time we're going to add this repo. So it's Cydia dot XL eyes or XL eyes, I think it's actually pronounced dot com then a slash. Now add source for you, I've already got it. So have a look in there. It should look well it probably won't have the icon for you but that repo. And what you want to find is disable demons. So scroll which we'll do this through the side shall we? Save a bit of time. Okay. Oh did I pass it? There it is. So Simply, again, where it says modify for me, just there. For you, we'll say install. So do it. And it'll get rid of all of these, give you some free RAM and a better boot time. Right, now we've done all of these three. You should have a faster phone now already, but there's one final option. If, like me, you find Winterboard to be a bit unstable since the update, you can disable it and wait for an update to be released. So in order to do that, you have to enable SB settings by swiping across the top, just there, then it will pop up, go to more, okay, mobile substrate add-ons, which will take a second to load, there's a little ad appears around there, that one, If you have anything in here you're not using, you can disable it. For example, I'm not using Springboard Rotator, so I've got it disabled, and Winterboard, so I've got it disabled. Then close this, and in SB settings, click B Spring, and you'll be done. Now, as I said earlier, to, in order to free up your RAM, you just get into SB settings like this, run processes there, and then click on Free Up Memory. And that's it. So I hope this helps. I hope you get a slightly faster iPhone. There's one more trick you can do to overclock your iPhone, but I'll give that a separate video as it's quite a um, serious tweak, so I won't just stick that in at the end. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope it helps you all to get slightly faster and better experience out of iOS 4. It certainly has for me. So yeah, goodbye. Yeah.